Hello, Audio Bass Chris here from the corner of my little screen. The reason I'm down here is because I've got something interesting to show you. I've been messing around with uh, another Amiga distribution called PiMiga. Now, PiMiga is not designed to run on WinUAA or PCs, it's designed to run on Raspberry Pis. You get the image, you flash it, and then you put it in a Raspberry Pi, plug it into your TV, and boom, you have an emulated Amiga, and it's got all nice fancy graphics and stuff. Can you run it on WinUAE? Yes, you can. It is not easy to get set up, however, but uh, I'd like to show you how it's working for me. So, as you know, I do a lot of my Amiga stuff on the Mister, the Minimig core, and uh, I can tell you now that this will not run on a Minimig. It just won't. For a couple of reasons. One, this the, the Minimig doesn't have enough memory on the core to get this running nicely. It doesn't support enough hard drives. This needs five hard drive <laughs> images to work. Uh, but let's uh, show you how it works, essentially. So, here we are. We've booted into Workbench. It's based on Workbench 3.1, classic Workbench. It's a variation of that with themes and stuff added, and it's, it's very pretty. So what do we have here? Five hard drive images with different things on. Uh, Final Writers built in iGame 2. This is uh, what you use to select games to play. It does have the full collection already on here. It's a 32 gigabyte image. So how I got this running on the WinUEA system is I mounted the image on a Linux system and I then pulled the folders off the image onto a USB stick which I then moved across to my PC and then I spent five hours or so, right, I might be exaggerating, it took forever though, configuring WinUAE to work, which it never worked, and then I worked smarter, not harder, went back onto my Linux system and pulled out the working configuration, which I then dropped into UAE and here we are. So, let's uh, just jump straight into a game. Bluetooth controller. I'll show you how the configuration is set up on this as well before we, we stop the video, but I'm just going to have a quick run through. Ooh, look at all this. England. Let's see, who was in the Premier back then? <laughs> I don't know anything about football, by the way. I've got this set up as both computer players, I believe. Yeah, I'm not playing. <laughs> All right, so I'm not very smart. Hit delete, back out there. Let's, uh, let's see how F18 Interceptor runs. No, Elite Dangerous. No, not Elite Dangerous. Frontier Elite 2. God almighty. I've lost the plot. You have to pardon me. This should be running faster than a stock Amiga. It's uh, A400, uh, A4000 even, with oodles of RAM. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can't delete out of that, so I'm going to have to reset the Amiga. <laughs> yeah, very... Um, very nifty. So let's move away from games. Whoops. Oh, I've opened Directory Opus. There we go. I've showed you Directory Opus. That works. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, WHD load, I think. Demos. There we go. Um, I appear to have broken the display by opening up Directory Opus. I don't know what's happened there.
Yeah, demo. All right. Let me restart when UAE, and hopefully that's uh, I can get it to look a bit nicer when I reboot it back up. Um, yeah, okay. That seems to be running a bit better. Perfect paint. How perfect is it? Let's find out. Hmm. Seems alright though. I think you may, maybe I need to make a new canvas. I don't know what I am doing. Um, yes, no picture. I get you. <sighs> right, okay. Never mind. I hope you enjoy my demonstrations. I think I'm getting better. I've had to change the screen resolution, by the way. When when you fire this up, it actually fires up in 10 at 1080p, and it looks great uh, when it's in full, full everything. But uh, I've had to lower it just so I can fit it on my screen and uh, see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, let's have an eagle player. Cool. Let's have a look in the audio drive. Five drives. Minimig can't handle five drives, therefore Minimig just won't be able to run this. Uh, Amiga amp. These are MP3s. So yeah, the, the emulated A4000 can run MP3s fine. You can also run video. Which, if you've never used an Amiga, you're just like, oh, it can run video. Well, that's that's not very impressive, but it really quite is. A 640 by 480 MPEG file. Let's skip along a bit. And I'm going to stop it there. I don't fancy getting a copyright strike, just in case. Uh, yeah. What else do we have? We'll go into system and we'll go into programs. Ooh, AWeb. I've managed to get networking on this. It just works out of the box. So when I say I've managed to get it, it I really haven't done anything. So we've got AWeb. Is it org? No. No. Let's do something I actually know how it works. There we go. Google. <laughs> nice and fast. I've uh, I believe this has broken at the resolution again. Yep. Now restart this again. Load and start. Right. Yeah, um, looking quite nifty. Oh, one other thing. We're going to programs. 
Is it emulation or... No, emulation would probably be under E. Deluxe Paint 5. Some good apps on here. Right, I don't I don't know what I'm looking for here. Uh, oh emulators, there we go. How would you feel about running Atari ST? Uh no, that's not work. I've got your emulator in the emulator dog. So would you say it's a ridiculous thing to run an Atari ST emulator on an Amiga emulator? Yeah, I would as well. Okay, uh, escape. Is it? Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Reset it once more. And then I want to show you the settings I had to tweak with to get this running in case you wanted to do it yourself. Although I wouldn't bother. Oh! One other thing. And this was a little bit cheeky when I discovered this. This image actually has a virus on it. Wait, here's the antivirus thing. Uh, Tell there we go. Happy New Year, the Happy New, New Year 96 virus is on this so be a little bit wary about you know attaching this to anything else or putting in if you wanted to use this on a real Amiga or a vampire I'd be careful about putting disk images on there just in case uh, it decides to jump across and infect everything you own so settings let's get this up and running again uh, okay um So here we have the configuration window for WinUAE. CPU 68040 at fast as possible. I put fast as possible on because it was taking an, a literal eternity to load this image. No MMU, CPU internal. A lot, all the other settings were on the configuration I pulled off the image. Chipset AGA as expected. Advanced chipset, compatible settings ROM. A4000 kickstart ROM. RAM, 8 megabytes of chip, 128 meg of fast RAM. This is the complicated one, the hard drive it, folders. Get this, it runs off folders rather than images. Uh, if you wanted to try and run this on a mister, you'd have to convert the folders into images. And I've done that in a different video. When I did the Coffin OS breakdown, I showed you how to do that. But uh, all of these, not only do they have to be mounted in this order, they also have to be named this as well. Otherwise, the image complains. Expansions, like that. RGG board, UAE Zorro 3 with 128 meg of RAM. Uh, so uh, you can see that th there's no chance this will run on a mister because it needs more RAM than the mister's capable of doing. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this little video, the little jump into PyMega on WinUAE. I haven't seen anybody else put PyMega on WinUAE. In fairness, they've probably got a lot more sense than I have. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, want to leave a comment or anything, like tell me how stupid I am, please feel free. I'd like that. Uh, or an up or a down or a subscription or anything. Um, I'm trying to grow my tiny channel into something. Just anything really. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Goodbye.